we today? We're at La Hunt. We're at La Hunt. Um, and, uh, side of the St. Clair Massacre of 1914, where actually, and it's a strange coincidence, 14 people were killed by an infant with a shotgun. So let's take a look. That's made up. <laughs> but really, this is the, uh, this is what we do for you viewers, right? See the, see the car? We're risking a tow for this video. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we gotta do some trespassing. So let's go to the hunt. What's all this? Oh, some foundation. You know why there's foundation? Because this was a site of a town called La Hunt. And you know what they did here? They had a cement factory. And everybody worked at the cement factory, correct? Hey, correct. Aren't you gonna introduce our new starring oh. character? Yeah, this is our new uh our newest member of our, our YouTube team. This is Theodore. Say hello. <laughs> He's a little camera shy. Okay, so we've been walking for how long do you think? About four hours and seven minutes. Yeah, four hours and seven minutes, which roughly translates to uh I don't know, ten minutes. And uh, there you can see the, the smokestack from the old cement factory. And uh, there's a gaping hole in the side. But we'll be up close and personal with that pretty soon. So we're still going. It's been up five minutes since I uh, last updated you. We're about to make our way to the site of the buildings. And there's one now. So let's go. And these things, I never really understood what they were. These bunch of pillars sticking out of the ground. So we're up. And uh, let's go in. Of course there's a bunch of graffiti. So this is uh, what once was a building. This town was active until the early 1900s. Then, for whatever reason, I guess the cement factory shut down and everybody moved. But how I heard it is during the construction, they were constructing a cement wall. Whoa, sorry. And, uh, and a guy fell in, supposedly, and uh, I don't know how he actually died, but he did die, and they constructed a memorial for him. And the story goes that he fell into the cement slab wall, and they really couldn't do anything about it, so they left him in. There's a part of the building. It's the next one over, I think, that has the doors. Craig here says he was here one night with his buddy. And then the other building, there's doors. I don't know if you can see that little hole up there. But there's metal doors. Anyway, he said they, they heard the doors start slamming shut and open, right? Oh, it wasn't so much slamming. It was just swinging without any wind. With no wind. And so they said, screw it. And then they got the F out of here. Okay, so we ventured into the forest behind that building. And we found some ruins, ruins, if you'd like to call them that. <laughs> well, technically, they're ruins. There's the smokestack. It is big. There's a little drop off, which I don't know what any of this was for, but uh, it's kind of maybe the foundation and stuff. I don't know what that is. On the smokestack is a hole. Look at that bravery. All right. There you go. Recording. This is the inside. As you can tell, uh, the sides kind of a road away. Well, maybe you can't tell. I don't know. But as you look down. So as we uh, look around here, I don't know, see these big kind of 
I feel like Tomb Raider in here. That's pretty much it. Not too creepy in the middle of the day. I'm sure it's a little different at night. Or with a body hanging from the large opening up top. Which I can't say has ever happened. But I can start that rumor now. He sees a ghost. Sweet, thanks. Say hello. Hi, gosh. Hello, little toad. Hello, Come here. We've stumbled upon it to the man that died. And I believe that's his name. So it says in the book B O A R S Boars. And there's his uh, wheelbarrow that they oh. stuck out. That book was so good they had it misspelled in there. Was it really? It had an E where the S is. Oh. That's why I kept calling him Biore or Bore. <laughs> there's a wheelbarrow and there used to be a pickaxe right beside it. And it's fallen out. You can kind of see the imprint there where it was. And uh, that's his little tribute. Wheelbarrow sticking out of the concrete. I don't know if you can see these gnats on camera. There's thousands of them. And anyway, we found the cemetery. So let's go in. And this is a cool cemetery. Uh, March 15th, 1910 is when this person perished. Final resting place. Look at this patch. Over the dead body. I mean perfectly. These weeds. Perfectly. And no one keeps up with this anymore, do they? No. Not that I know of at least. That's pretty creepy. Frankie. Daughter of Ida McLeod. Born 1893. Died 1902. She was nine. They wouldn't bury her inside the because she was Greek, so they buried her outside the south edge of the cemetery. Oh, where'd you come up with that? Murphy. Benjamin. Died 1904. Eleanor. Died 1875. Sydney. Died 1875. Richard. Died 1881. This whole We're exiting the graveyard, and Craig noticed that uh, those weird little weeds are only around the perimeter of the graveyard and behind all the graves. Which kind of makes you wonder, you know? And uh, he was talking about like mass burial, and they uh, actually here in Lahant, if you were of like a different ethnicity, they wouldn't bury you in the graveyard, they'd bury you outside the graveyard. Which would explain all those weeds being along the perimeter of the graveyard. So we're about to round the corner and see if my car's gotten towed away or not. Yes! Success! The caliber is untouched! Alright, the caliber is untouched everybody. Anyway. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, that's been La Hunt, the abandoned city by Independence. And it's a big, it's a big uh, place for, for tales and legends of ghosts. But uh, if you ever make your way around southeast Kansas, come on. Come on by and we'll go out at night. Makes it a lot more spooky. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll be making more stops on this ghosts of southeast kansas tour and uh, i think that's all for us say bye bye, bye everybody <laughs>